These storm drains are getting a new look thanks to some young Montgomery County environmentalists. It's a salamander um, and that's a puppy. I, I do really like painting. It's, it's really fun just well. being with each other and painting. I think it's it's been really fun and I've met so many new people and painting all these little things. It's so cool because I I like to think of myself as an artist. I love drawing and doing it in an outdoor environment during spring break is a really fun experience. They are painting the drains as part of a larger educational campaign on the hazards of putting waste materials into storm drains. The Department of Environmental Protection has been installing facilities that help clean our waters throughout the years. We are encouraging kids to become involved in protecting our water uh, and this is an opportunity to come out here, help us paint the storm drains that are feeding into uh, stormwater facilities and so that way people know that these are not just here for aesthetics but they're also helping clean our water. This particular group was using its talent on the storm drains at the Kensington Library. The storm drain art program aims to spread awareness about stormwater issues by engaging the community and protecting our water. Murals with a water quality message or theme are painted on the drains in hopes people will think twice before throwing something down the drain. I think this is important because eventually the water drains to uh, La Chesapeake Bay and that's where we get our fish and a lot of our water. Yeah, we don't want to get poisoned. I really want to bring awareness to everyone else who might not be aware of what they can do by not polluting. We're going to add some raindrops to just promote the water and Make how keeping our water clean is very important. Uh, it's a great way actually doing the whole painting to make people mindful of the environment. In keeping with the theme of the project, only environmentally safe paint is used on the storm drains. The paint is actually the same paint that is used to uh, mark uh, the roads. And the reason for that is because we don't want it to leak or we don't want it to uh, chip. And so the road paint we are we know that is has been around and it works. And there are no maintenance costs associated with the murals. They eventually fade after time when their outreach efforts have been accomplished. The county has selected several other sites like the Kensington Library where there is the potential for high traffic to see the works of art and appreciate the significance. Right now we have several of them. We have uh, two at the Aspen Hill Library. We have one at the White Oak Community Center. Uh, we've also partnered with commercial buildings or commercial properties that have issues with people either illegally dumping or putting stuff down the drains. And so that community, it, it's a private storm drain but it's, it serves a very important purpose. From us painting that area, then there has been no complaints about illegal dumping in that storm drain. Council Vice President Roger Berliner chairs the committee that oversees environmental issues. He says projects like these at public places are a good idea. We're spending hundreds of millions of dollars over the next years to address stormwater issues. So to call attention to what's actually happening with rain, with stormwater, is so terribly important. And they're doing a, a good public service. I seem passionate about it because I know that it will affect us, especially like in our future, if we don't take care of it now, then in the future there's going to be, it's going to be very hard for us to take care of it. And by making small steps, it will make a big difference in the long run.